Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender episode number 5 and 6. Six. Alright, so uh, the previous two episodes we <coughs> we got into um, this whole uh, like how the Avatar like you know Av Aang went back to his hometown. We saw where he actually lived and how the Fire Nation also attacked their like you know the airbenders as well and uh we also got an information about how the actual avatar cycle happens like you know when one uh like you know one avatar dies he reincarnates into the next nation and this is how it goes so that uh, so like it's like air um i think water um earth and then fire and then again air isn't it yeah something like this this whole cycle and all like you know all of these things ang kind of like lost control after like uh, learning that yeah the fire nation came here and attacked and he is probably the last survivor and also like in the next episode we get to the kyoshi village where we meet this uh like you know this uh like village of people who uh kind of like you know uh worship uh kyoshi who was also an avatar and how like you know Sokka kind of got like a little bit of a training and after kind of like you know went like the fame kind of went to his head and all and but by the end of it like he kind of broke out of it as like the as uh, <coughs> the fire nation attacked them and you know like Prince Zuko and like he had a fight and everything and then like they were, like you know went away from that place so that was what happened in those previous two episodes and uh, let's see let's see where like you know in today's episodes where he goes next like he like they're like going towards the water nation that is like the north i think in the north pole yeah north pole so are they going to make any more like you know stops or are they going to directly go to the water nation let's see what like you know this episode brings so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number five of avatar the last airbender so yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, sorry, I said subtitles. <laughs> I'm accustomed to telling, you know, like sync it to the subtitles. So I forgot this is like, you know, a dub anime. Not dub, but the uh, uh, like actual language is in English. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this also happened. I forgot to mention. Like everyone got to know that uh like you know the Avatar has come back. Wait, one thing. His name is Sakar Soka. I think it's Soka, isn't it? So, why do they mention his name as Saka? Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, this guy's. <laughs> oh, they really did it! Wow. What is that? Hey. <laughs> oh no. Wow. True. Whoa. He's like one of those strong old men from, like, you know, men from anime. 
<laughs> you know who have those muscles in inside the baggy clothes? <laughs> oh my god. This place is really amazing. Um What the Yo What the Um yeah friendly <laughs> We can't even see his smile <laughs> covered by his mustache <laughs> Um Bonzo. He's a great actor. What the? What is that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah! <laughs> nice! Whoa! That's a three layered wall! Oh no, he's. <laughs> the old man has bunny ears or lemu ears, whatever. Wow, it's, it's like an amusement park, you know? Oh, wow! That's impressive! <laughs> Boomy. Oh, this is Boomy? Oh. <laughs> As I said, amusement park. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> nice to see our brains work, you know, similarly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no, you're, you're disguised, you're trying to go out! Oh! Damn! Okay! Yeah, this is a bit... Use your airbending power! Oh! Or maybe, yeah, that works as well. <laughs> Um, prepare! Oh! Wow, they're completely... Y you see, yeah, airbending! True? <laughs> oh no! Oh no, there they come! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, thank god. Oh! Okay. Nice. Well, the roof tops are getting damaged. That's one thing. Oh, and the inside of the house as well. Okay. Oh my god, another Lemur. That's a Lemur, isn't it? Oh. Oh no, the cabbages. Poor cabbages. <laughs> Poor guy. Um. Yeah. You're arrested now.
Oh, what what's with his hairstyle? Wait, is that th th that guy that Ang talked about? <laughs> I for I forgot his name. His friend, Boomy, Boomy. I think it is. Let's see. Um. Yeah, he he's probably like you know record. <laughs> I think it is Bumi, most probably. I'm not sure because it was hundred years ago. You know, he probably be old. So. Um. <laughs> um okay wow nice yeah you should laugh at this these type of moments you know mm yeah <laughs> Whoa! There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's just a magic trick. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, maybe that's not Boomy. I'm not so sure now. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. <laughs> this guy's amazing. <laughs> oh, the letter sleeve. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Wait, what? <laughs> okay, true. Oh, Momo's fat. Momo, you're fat now. You can't. He's too fat. Oh my god. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost still stuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, what the? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see the challenges. Um. Hmm. Hey, yeah. Nice! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay.
<laughs> what what is that genomite oh oh damn if you yeah win the challenges oh no all right let's see oh oh damn it came up into the hands <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> but he can use his air bending, yeah, you know, to stop the water or something. Let's see. Damn. There you go. It's like an air pocket. Okay, come on. Oh, okay. Yo. Okay, let's go. Like another try. Make a bigger air pocket. Okay, he's going from high up now. Okay, that probably would work. Let's see. There you go. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the water force is too much. Can he do something else like maybe it's a like you know more of a trick challenges nice that was good <laughs> yeah what okay Socks. Whoa! What the? <laughs> Flopsy! Oh my god! Ha! Oh god! Oh no! Wait, is that Flopsy? <laughs> go to your daddy now, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, they're almost like... Hmm... Oh no. <laughs> Come on, enough playing. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it's the last task. Oh my god. Duel. Oh. What the? Oh! Um you hey, you I'll fight you <laughs> I think he's going to say that you ow what oh he he he's one of those stronger old men I said it these old people in animes <laughs> they're too OP <laughs> oh god yeah it was the wrong choice <laughs> he knew, the old man knew that he's going to choose him he did it purposefully <laughs> oh he's okay damn mm. okay 
Oh, yeah, that'll help. Let's go. Okay, wow. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, God. The staff. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, that won't work. Um, yeah. Oh. Whoa! Um, airbending techniques? Let's go. Oh, it's mud now! Damn! Oh! Um... Oh... Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay. It hit him, but that won't be enough. Ooh. Yeah, it's... Oh. Yeah, he can use that technique, you know? Use his own power against him. But it's pretty difficult. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, he's making a tornado. Okay. Wow. Ah, uh, but oh. Nice. Um Oh. Okay. What the? <laughs> yeah, what is that? Okay. Is it, is it some pun or something? It's boomy, isn't it? it oh. What? No. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's boomy, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a candy? Yeah. Well, test. Ha, <laughs> true. <laughs> okay.
Ozai. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, sliding challenge. <laughs> oh, ah, the cabbages again. Wow, that was uh, such a great episode. Okay, is that the end? Yeah, like. Probably, like you know, obviously the the and like you know the show barely started, but up till the episodes I've seen, I think this episode is probably my favorite. It was so so fun, you know, like so amazing. That was a really fun episode. Like each and everything, like Boomy is such a great character. And okay, one thing I'm like you know thinking, I don't know if that this is like you know this is something that they did deliberately or just like you know like it's just a coincidence. Um. Bhumi, I think his name is Bhumi. In just a sec, let me just check his name. Um, the pronunciation. Um, mm -mm -mm. Bhumi. Okay, so uh, yeah, as I was saying, I don't know if this is deliberate or is this a coincidence. His name is Bhumi, and in my language, you know, like I live in India, in my language, Bhumi means Earth. I don't know if this is a coincidence or they really like you know did this deliberately but like you know i think this is something like you know they like took from that like you know bhumi in my language like you know it it my you know my native tongue it means earth so and he's an earthbender so that's really like you know a, a thing that i noticed like you know like like they were calling him bhumi bhumi and then like we see him his earthbending like you know techniques and all so yeah <laughs> okay so okay like uh let's talk about this episode first of all as i said this is probably like for me one of the best episodes uh like you know for these five episodes that i watched in this uh this show for this is probably the best because uh, it was so fun you know like each and everything like seeing like you know bhumi like especially bhumi was such an amazing character <laughs> <laughs> like his puns and each and everything were, were so <laughs> so funny and interesting you know and uh we could see you know how he probably like he probably became the king later on and as we can see like how his like <clears throat> the way he does stuff is so unique as he said like think outside the box and that was him so him being a king probably like you know uh, made he made a lot of improvements by thinking outside the box and he's probably a great king you know because it's not the same thing like you know as he like said like these kind of like challenges that he gave and everything was like kind of outside the box so <clears throat> like the first challenge where it's like this huge like you know this huge waterfall falling how will you get there now and could like you know make an air pocket try to get there but the force was too much so what did like you know ang do he took out one of those like you know those things that was uh, those needle things i'm not sure those earth like you know like those structures those needle kind of things uh, he took it and took like you know then air slicer or whatever <laughs> and threw them together and that's how like you know he got the key the next one uh, the uh, the uh, i forgot the name of his pet but like when when the little rabbit went inside the hole and ang stopped and said wait a minute and looked back it struck me oh maybe the pet is the big bigger creature that's what it was and <laughs> it's also thinking outside the box like like all these like you know these challenges these little challenges um <clears throat> and the final challenge is like who will you choose this guy this guy and he was also like you not know, standing there now <laughs> like you know what like at that moment i also really did not think like he really tricked ang and like you know in, in a way me as well where like you know these there were these two characters standing beside himself and he was also there now he said out of these two who will you choose now immediately when you think about this as a trick question 
immediately your mind will go like okay so the correct transfer is neither of these two it's the third person that's also you know standing here so immediately i also said that i'll choose you ang also said that <laughs> that itself was a trick so he knew you know like ang's head would probably go towards that direction like he's pointing these two characters and that's a trick question so it's probably the third character so he did a little twist where he himself was the third choice and he was the worst decision like you know the worst opponent that ang could choose he's the strongest so the trick question itself had a trick in it <laughs> and then like you know when he said that wrong answer i realized that yeah that trick question in itself was a trick so if he chose like normally either of those two like you know those two people he would have probably had a lesser challenge but you know <coughs> that was funny and we saw how he like you know his his strength and everything as he said like he said that i'm the pro i'm the strongest earthbender and he like, he could have defeated ang you know but like uh, in the end he decided that okay this is enough like you know because he had the uh, the rock on, on top of his hand when ang like you know uh, uh, pointed the staff towards him so he probably had that even then he had the upper hand but he thought that okay like like it's enough like you know like i tested him i've tested him enough it's all right and like you know uh most probably the reason for this test was that um excuse me that he wanted to see how like <laughs> the first reason obviously he said that it's fun to mess with people so all right fair enough <laughs> the second uh reason is as like you know like a, th a thought like he wanted to see how ang like you know like how ang can think outside the box just like him because fighting the fine nation like you know head to head is probably not going to work he needs his brain as well so thinking outside the box and fighting and also having good friends reliable friends who have faith on him so yeah that, those two were the like the main things he wanted to test <clears throat> and the the thing that was kind of coming out so that was candy wasn't he said something like rock candy so and the like you know momo was also kind of licking it and he was eating it so i'm guessing like if like if ang probably was would be unable to like you know you know win the challenges it probably won't have been that much of a problem because it's rock candy so if like you know if they wanted to they could just eat it <laughs> like you know i think they probably sooner or later would have realized that yeah this is no rock or like you know no hard rock material this is just a candy so eh, probably <laughs> who knows yeah <clears throat> and that was a really great episode and the puns oh my god <laughs> let us leave <laughs> wow that was great uh definitely the best like you know the, one of the funniest and the best episodes uh and uh, <clears throat> yeah like i kind of like uh, you know guessed it that this is probably boomy because otherwise why would they suddenly like you know introduce a character new character in a flashback and then like we suddenly see this uh king who is dressing and and uh, as all like as we knew like you know it has been 100 years so he's old so damn he's like more than 100 years old that means uh boomy uh like i'm guessing when it was 100 years ago it was like he was in the, in the flashback he was i'm guessing 10 or 11 years old something like that so after that 100 years passed so he's probably uh, 112 or 13 years old wow and he's still like you know this much of an active like, you know earth bender and yeah he's one of those like you know those <laughs> strong old men from anime you know as i said who wears these kind of baggy clothes but when they you know remove that uh, dress and you remove that like you know shirt there's like these kind of muscles <laughs> underneath it and he's like the one of the strongest warrior or something yeah he's one of those old man men <laughs> and uh, yeah that was really great like it's nice to see how like you know and like uh, like you know found uh like you know re reunited with his long like you know friend long who was there long ago 
and like i'm sure like bhumi was also surprised seeing ang after so long you know and like i'm sure he's really happy as well and uh, yeah that was nice that was a really great episode so yeah so let's okay so that was this uh this was episode number five yeah five so all right <clears throat> so all right let's get started with episode number six of all right so here we go uh, episode number six i'll be putting the subtitle again my i'm accustomed to saying subtitles i'll be putting the timer here sync it to the video and let's get started uh, all right so here's the countdown three two one go that was such a wholesome episode you know Uh, maybe we'll meet him again when he's going to uh, like you know boomy when he's going to learn earth bending technique like first he'll have to master water bending i'm guessing yeah Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Chapter six imprisoned. Oh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Got fish. Uh Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Will that really like fill their bellies? Is that a rock or really a, some nut? Whoa! Um. What the? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, is this earth bending? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe he's shy. Food. Yes. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> there you go, there's the village. Um will that work? Oh there he is. Haru. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe that's something. Yeah, I, I, I think he's probably, <laughs> I think he's probably like secretly training or something. Day. Oh, the Fire Nation. Oh no, are these like? People, oh, imprisoned. That's the. Uh... 
Oh, the name of the episode. Oh. Oh, great. <laughs> Extorting money, yeah. Oh, well, that's kind. Five. Oh. But I'm guessing. So is it forbidden by the Fire Nation or them themselves? Yeah. I'm sure he also wants to do that. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh. Yeah, damn. Oh, so yeah, it is forbidden by the Fire Nation. They want to control their power. Um. Oh no! He can, oh my God! He's probably going to use his earth bending now. Oh yeah, he needs to use it now. Yeah. Okay, I hope there really is and not anyone. Okay. I hope this old man like does not say anything, you know. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I hope the financial doesn't. Yeah, I was thinking. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I saw this coming, but I still did not believe that, you know, the person who saved him. <laughs> That's handy. <laughs> Yeah, he got captured. Uh, 
And he's going to wreak some havoc outside, I'm guessing. What? Earth bending? Water bending? I. Okay, okay, that's that's a good idea. You're out vendor now. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Seriously, back off. Um, wait, what's Ang doing? Quick, Ang! <laughs> the lemur is outstanding! Capture the lemur! <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh... Not great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're like transported somewhere else. I guess, like, you know. Okay, yeah, they can follow him, them. And after Katara finds Haru, they can get out of the you know, get out of the place. Whoa. So this is a prison. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have water here, so... Hmm. If Katara, Katara knew, like, you know... Like water bending properly, she could have probably wiped out the place, you know, because we have water, so much water, you know, outside. I'm guessing Haru is somewhere here. Uh. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh. Oh. Okay, his father is also here. <laughs> yeah, he.
So he he's like a leader. Yeah, he's like the leader here. Yeah, I don't think he has one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure he tried before, you know, and failed a lot of times. And as he said, like, I envy your youth. Oh, the, the listening. I don't think anyone's going to yeah that's why he's like you know the warden said that stop let's see how much this goes yeah no. oh god Okay. Okay, now what? Mm. Okay, let's like you cannot fit everyone here you cannot there's a lot of people so oh no yeah ha <laughs> Both? <laughs> oh my god! Imagine getting drowned because you did not realize the difference between a buffalo and a bison. Oh. Uh, god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> help them help themselves. Yeah. Uh, earth, earth under the water like or oh that as well okay that's earth yeah yeah hmm okay Oh, it will come out. 
Okay, one place. All right. Oh. Okay, come on Ang, let's, yeah, show them. There you go, come on, use your earth bending. Haru, come on. Damn, it's like... Oh no, they're still so afraid, you know? At least one, like, you know, one person, if Haru starts doing it, everyone will follow, I'm sure. But Haru is different. <laughs> there you go. You know, one starts, everyone will follow. That's... There you go. You see? And that's coal, you know, it's going to burn. And... Yeah. And that will be hot. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Momo is collecting the weapons. Nice! Damn, that's a... Uh, that's gonna hit hard. Oh! And... Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, he's gonna capture them. Oh, into the water! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah 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 uh, the village still has uh, the fire yeah 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 there you go yeah Yep. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Zuko's here. Well, obviously, like, something like this happened, so... I'm guessing, like, you know, Zuko's going to be notified. All right, that's it. Okay, so that's the end. Um, yes, that's the end. So, all right, so that was uh, episode number um, six. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, okay, so we here, like, we get into this village here, uh, which is taken control over by the Fire Nation people. And we see how like you know like they like the thing that they did like you know they prohibited anyone from earth bending like just so that you know they can keep the rebellion in control and there are no people you know who like the people who fought they're all in a different place 
so it also kind of keeps the morale low everything and like you know it's like uh like you know th as they said like i'm sure the father tried to break out many times as he said that you know like i'm very envious of your youth like he surely like you know before he, he he when he got caught for the i'm guessing for the first time and he came into the prison for you know for the first time i'm sure he also wanted to break out and he must have tried to do it but each and every time i'm sure like you know they got captured and you know uh, the the little revolt that they planned always got uh, hindered in a way so all the hope that they had it got crushed and that's why the the warden was so damn like you know smug and he knew like yeah like whatever this girl says no, no one will do anything because it's like you know the hope has been taken out of them but he made one little mistake here it is that the whole uh like you know uh, that haru was new here you know haru was not a person that has been here from like you know for five or six years now if haru was also like you know one of them like you know if he was also one of those captured people who has been here for four or five like you know years and has also failed to revolt each time they you know wanted to revolt maybe they were like you know crushed the revolt uh, was crushed down and they were unable to do it if haru also like you know uh, experienced those things he probably wouldn't have done anything just like all the other but since he's completely new here and we saw his passion his like you know his the the fire still burned in him like that was only needed you know they you needed uh, like you know a type of a person who who's like a leader you know who can like inspire you increase your morale that was Katara here and you only need one you know one person to go along with that and that person person here was Haru and seeing Haru all the other people got inspired like that's what happened here like first his dad did it and then like you know when everyone saw that yeah he's also doing it everyone thought that yeah maybe there is a chance you know so like Katara gave, gave them the opportunity and if they did not take the opportunity they would have lost like Katara was only there to give that opportunity to them and thankfully like you know Haru did it and seeing Haru his dad did it and seeing his dad everyone else also started like you know resisting and that's how they won here and that's that's all that's needed you know like you, you might be a great amazing leader you might be like you know your words may uh, have so much inspiration in it but if no one follows you a leader there's no worth in a leader like because there are like you know there, there are people who are following a leader makes a leader strong if there's no people following a leader the leader won't be strong like who will he or she be even leading so that was what was actually happening here there was a leader here i'm sure his dad tried to do it but he himself got disillusioned after each and every time of failure you know and when katara came here he she also tried to do it but even though he like you know she took uh haru's dad's position as a leader tempor for a temporary moment she was unable to do anything because everyone was so like you know uh in despair nobody wanted to do something which would you know like result in more pain more uh, casualties so they like you know at the beginning they did nothing but by the end of it you know haru kind of i'm guessing uh you know triggered their fire inside their soul as well and that's how everything you know they started Re like you know uh, the rebellion and yeah and they went won by the end of it and also like as they said like the fire nation is still in their village so obviously i'm guessing nothing much will happen after this like uh like you know the, the other all the other earthbenders are going to go back like you know so many people his dad himself like you know uh, haru and all the others and <clears throat> they're going to go there and they're going to I mean, obviously they're going to stop the fire nation in their village because there were a few guards as we can see and i doubt they're going to pose any threat you know like so many earth vendors are going to go there at the same time <laughs> they're going to crush them so yeah like it'll probably all be fine after this and yeah now okay one thing like uh just a sec his name is haru isn't it yeah now one thing that i wanted to say here is 
this is an uh, like you know english tv like you know tv show isn't it so i'm really like surprised at them using so many japanese like you know uh, like also chinese as well like japanese names for example haru momo and unagi in the previous episode like you know and so many things like i'm guessing they took a lot of inspiration from anime i'm not sure about it but i'm guessing because there's a lot of like even though like you know it's like the the, the whole uh, like ambience the whole comedy like you know each and everything is really animesque like it doesn't even feel like you're watching like you know uh, like an english uh, what do you call it an english cartoon or something it, it it doesn't feel like it at all like it's like uh, like i'm sure like that's why like you know like i've seen a lot of people like talk about this like you know is avatar an anime or is it like an english cartoon like everyone says like yeah this is like you know this is one of those like you know english tv shows which is very similar to anime and i can understand this now you know because everything everything is so anime is you know and like it's great you know so like <clears throat> also the references and each and everything like most of it uh like everything is like you know so anime is and i really like that and uh, <clears throat> it's fantastic like also like especially the comedy the comedy is done so well in this show like you know especially episode number <laughs> five it was so great you know i love that episode uh anyways so yeah let's uh okay so this episode as i was saying so um, yeah that uh oh and by the end we see zuko come here as well now the pendant uh i don't know what's going to happen obviously like as like katara said that it like it holds a very sentimental value to her um probably like after like seeing that pendant zuko is going to understand that yeah this is like you know this is one of uh ang's friends thing so he's going to like you know put two and two together and understand that yeah they came here and all this commotion that happened was probably them so yeah and obviously like katara will need to get it back and I'm, I'm, i'm hoping that she'll eventually get it back in the future because as she said that it's like a it holds a very you know emotional value for her so yeah and probably they can't go back after this like you know like they they left the place they left the ship so even if katara wants to go back and search for it she can do it because it it would be filled by fire nation people after everything that happened so that's also not an option yeah so all right okay so uh, another thing that i i'm not sure like i thought about it happening and it actually happened is the old man you know who was under the rubble now the way like you know the, he kind of like handed over haru to the guards now it could have gone two ways and i placed my bet on him actually telling the guards because you know uh, <laughs> like that would make the whole like you know you know what can i say like that will like if the old man did not say anything to the guards what would have even happened in this episode you know so i placed my bets on the old man telling the guards because i knew like somehow they are going to get captured for like you know at least haru is going to get captured for earth bending somehow and the old man was in the perfect position to actually you know notify the authorities that yeah this guy is an earth bender and i would not probably blame the old man because i'm sure he has seen a lot of bad stuff when he was like you know younger and all because i'm sure he probably like he's seen a lot of people like suffering a lot, a lot of the other people suffering like when an earth bender got captured you know i'm sure like if some earth bender gets captured and uh, the other people who have done nothing they also get suffer you know penalized for it by these guards so, uh, like this is how like you know they kind of has like ingrained the fear in their hearts so it's like i'm sure like the old man after seeing it i'm sure he was thankful for the, like haru for haru helping him but at the same time he was very fearful that oh my god if they somehow get to know that i was saved by an earth bender you know if if somehow they get to know i'll be penalized maybe my family members will be penalized maybe the other like you know everyone will be like you know like will suffer so like let me just go and inform them before anything like that happens 
and he like you know he went and informed the guards about it so that's probably something like you know like that's their way of kind of controlling the whole village you know there's like fear is ingrained so much in them like even if like you know one of the villagers find out that oh he's an earthbender they're going to probably go and tell the guards in fear of themselves getting like you know penalized so yeah that's probably something and uh, yeah that's it um, was there anything else i'm just checking no that was it so yeah guys that was this episode um okay so yeah that was this episode so yeah uh thank you guys for watching this was episode number five and six of after the last airbender so <clears throat> i said this before as well episode five was one of the best episodes i loved it so much and this episode was also good in a way and like i'm really curious as to how what katara is going to do after this as to was she really like you know i'm sure like the her uh losing the pendant is going to affect her some like you know in a lot of ways so maybe she'll like you know like like you know think rationally and say that okay like i'm sure i'll get it eventually but now we should not probably not go back to that place and like you know live for it because that will spell trouble for us or maybe will she be like you know emotional and say no no i'm going to go back and like look for it probably that's not going to happen because katara is like you know understandable like she is intelligent as well but you know who knows like emotions like you know emotions kind of work in a really weird way you know like logic kind of goes goes out the window whenever emotion is somehow uh like you know involved in something so yeah who knows what's like how katara is going to react after this so yeah anyways that's i'm sure we'll get to see in the next episode so yeah guys thank you guys for watching so this was episode number five and episode number six of avatar the last airbender so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another two episodes of after the last airbender so until then goodbye and have a nice day